Days after becoming the first nation to land a craft near the moon's largely unexplored South Pole, India is all set to achieve another space exploration milestone. The Aditya L-1 is the first Indian space mission to study the sun. Here's more on the mission and the Indian space program. The spacecraft will be placed in an orbit around the Lagrange point one of the Sun-Earth system, about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth where the gravitational effects of both bodies cancel each other out. That parking lot in space allows objects to stay put because of balancing gravitational forces. The Aditya L1 will have a continuous clear view of the sun. As per the Indian Space Agency ISRO, the mission will help observe solar activities and effects on space weather in real time. The spacecraft will be carrying seven payloads to observe the sun's outermost layers, known as the photosphere and the chromosphere, including by using electromagnetic and particle field detectors. Among several objectives, it will study the drivers for space weather, including a better understanding of the dynamics of solar wind. While NASA and the European Space Agency have previously sp placed orbiters to study the sun, it will be the first such mission for India. Now let's talk about India's space program. The Anman Chandrayaan-3, meaning mooncraft in Sanskrit, touched down on the lunar surface on August 23rd. It marked the latest milestone in India's ambitious space program, sparking celebrations across the world's largest democracy. Remember, only four nations have landed successfully on the moon. That is India, Russia, the United States and China. India's space program has grown considerably in size and momentum since the nation first sent an, a probe to orbit the moon in 2008. In 2014, India became the first Asian nation to put a craft into orbit around Mars. The country is slated to launch a three-day crewed mission into the Earth's orbit by next year. There are plans for a joint mission with Japan to send another probe to the moon by 2025. India is also aiming for an orbital mission to Venus within the next two years. And for more on this, we are now being joined by Dr. Anita Sengupta from Los Angeles. She is the CEO of Hydroplane Limited and a research professor of astronautical engineering at the University of Southern California. Anita, thank you very much for making time for us for another historic day for India. Uh, what does this uh, launch of Aditya L1 mean to you? Well, understanding the dynamics of the sun, the physics of the sun is important to us here on Earth for so many reasons, whether it's understanding climate change, whether it's understanding solar wind and disturbances that we have here on Earth due to the sun. Um, understanding the physics of the sun is a mystery and one which space exploration can help to solve. Dr. Anita, we are counting hours until the launch of Aditya L1. So much buzz around the, um, this spacecraft going to observe the sun. What can we anticipate the spacecraft to find from observing the sun? So we have many models of how the sun operates, but in order to be able to validate those models and basically understand what's going on, you do need to make measurements. So everything from the interior structure to the sun, to the reason why the corona is hotter than the surface of the sun, to understanding why we get coronal mass ejections. Measurements that this spacecraft will make with its payload will give us more insight into that. The sun is so hot down here, so it's also going to get hotter for the spacecraft. How do you think uh, ISRO has managed to protect the craft from the heat? Well, so it isn't getting as close to the surface of the sun, right? It's at the L1 Lagrange point, so it's still about 1.5 million kilometers away. Um, but ultimately, it will always have a permanent view of the sun, which means that it won't be in the eclipse. So you have to design the thermal system in terms of the radiator panels to be able to handle the constant um, irradiance from the sun. But it's a engineering um, design challenge, but one which has been mitigated um, by other spacecraft in the past and obviously by the Aditya-1 spacecraft as well. Dr. Adit Anita, could you explain to our viewers what this Lagrangian uh, point means uh, for this mission? So it gives a wonderful stable viewing location so that in this halo orbit between the Earth and the Sun, 
the spacecraft will constantly be able to see the sun and make measurements of the sun. Um, and it's basically a place where the gravitational effects of both the sun and the moon are balanced out and are equivalent to the centripetal acceleration in the halo orbit. So it allows the spacecraft to constantly see the sun, observe the sun, and make scientific measurements of the sun. Dr. Anita, there's so much uh, enthusiasm with uh, space exploration nowadays. We have India, we have Russia, we have China, we have the United States, all of whom are aiming for the space. Why do you think there's so much uh, enthusiasm when it comes to space exploration? Well, I, I can speak from personal experience, which is that young people um, and people around the world find exploring space exciting, inspirational, helps to answer why we exist in the universe, um, how our solar system evolved. So having the indigenous capability to explore space, whether that is launching things out of Earth's gravity well, launching people into orbit and sending scientific um, missions basically helps to answer the question of why are we here and how did we come to be? Dr. Anita, Probably for those who are watching now and they're space enthusiasts or want to explore space, what can they learn from Aditya L1 if it is successful? So basically life on Earth exists because of the sun. We get all of our energy from the sun. All weather that exists on Earth comes from the sun. All weather that exists in our solar system comes from the sun. So we can better understand how climate is evolving here on Earth how we're gonna see changing weather patterns, even things such as space weather, which can result in disturbances to our communication system. All of that understanding can come from this mission in terms of understanding the interior physics or the heliophysics of the sun. Dr. Anita Sengupta, as always, thank you very much for your insights. We are now under one hour until the launch of Aditya L1. So let's see how that plays out. Anita, thank you for talking to us today. Thank you and good luck everyone at uh, Israel. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.